when I was 15, I was asked to be a plus size model, but my parents said no. My God. I know people got to be upset. You spend your whole life trying not to be a fat bitch because you think it's like the worst thing in the world. And then you see a broad like me, just a big fucking behemoth. Living my best life. That shit's gotta hurt. Okay, guys, uh, let's continue part two of uh, fat people and fat influencers dying because they're too fat. It's the discrimination that makes fat people unhealthy. Welcome to the wonderful world of fat fluences. <laughs> Fat Welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day. Remember, I'm fat and I don't eat healthy. Wow, Today for breakfast, that's I'm crazy. Some pizza with <laughs> oh my god, he, he's using the same mannerisms as me. That's insane. Because I say, oh god, that's crazy. You're so crazy, you're so crazy. With some ranch. Every time I show y'all that I'm having pizza for breakfast, there's always those one or two haters in the comments like, oh my god, how is she eating pizza for breakfast? That's not a hater. That's someone who cares about your health. <laughs> pizza for breakfast. Like, oh my, oh my god, how is she eating pizza for breakfast? I eat like pizza once a week to keep my figure and not get so fat because I want Tommy. For some reason, overweight, and I'm, I'm sorry, it's always women, overweight women seem to want to expose what they eat in a day and they want to tell us all. Brother, I said that before in the previous video that this is a woman thing. This is a woman thing. Us men would never allow this. Would drag you to the gym. But that's just toxic masculinity that they're very proud of the way they look and they don't want to change. I don't know why Ooh. fat fluencers do Damn. this, but they seem to really, mm. really have an audience behind them. Yeah, but it's always McDonald's. It's always Mackie. Some of these videos get hundreds of thousands of likes and I have a conspiracy as to why they do this. Now, I don't know if yeah, this is- Yeah, because they want to see you die. I think us as watchers, we want to see a person push themselves to the edge and maybe even fall off the edge just to see it. I don't want to be the person which is doing it, but I want to watch it. I'm like, God, I wonder how fat that person can get. And then they just become fatter and fatter and fatter. And then you're like, damn, if I just donate $5, maybe I can see them eat like a cupcake. You know how I've been saying that a lot of morbidly obese people that we see on TV or on Instagram have a significant other that seems like they really enjoy feeding them. As if they get kind of aroused by the thought of them dying from too much food. It seems that they have a F-E-T-I-S-H, which means the Nico Avocado method really does something for them down here. And whenever I talk about this, people say, that's not real. No one gets turned on by that. While someone is now speaking out about how common it is. Hi, my name is Rosie and I was groomed into feederism. Feederism is a kink, like a sexual kink regarding feeding someone generally for the purpose of them be being fat or getting fat or gaining weight. There's a big umbrella when it comes to feederism. And the thing about this guy is I think he was into what's called death feederism. And death feederism is what it sounds like. It's feeding someone to the point of getting so fat and so big that, that they die. So my eating has not been like horrendous. Last night, for some reason, I did like a hurrah moment and I was like, let's eat some chips. And it's funny because like, it's been a hot minute since I've even had chips. Like my portions lately have been- You know been... what's crazy about like fat people? It's like their face structure is still the same, but then everything just becomes like super large. Recently, there's been a movement on the internet called fat acceptance. Ooh. This is where people will openly say that it's perfectly okay to stay obese. Mm. You shouldn't try to exercise or eat healthy. You're perfectly okay the way you are. Now, it's getting even more insane. Basically, fat activists are claiming that obesity is genetic. And somehow, well-established doctors from Harvard mm. are actually backing up 
these fat activists with scientific claims. Damn. They're basically saying that you have no control over how fat you are and that it is entirely genetic. But there is something clearly wrong with the woman. Oh my God, she's, she's extra thick. On the right. Not saying that she's not worthy and deserving Jesus. of love because she is. But she's unhealthy. Ooh. She can hardly fit in her freaking shoe. Bro, look, the, the shoes are exploding. <laughs> oh my god. Why on earth would we promote people walking around and looking like this? And it's honestly mean to say that someone is beautiful and all this stuff when it's like we're literally lying to them and making them think that it's okay to be that way when it's really not because it's hurting their health and it's shortening their lives. If you really care about people, you tell them the truth. Now that sounds like a pretty reasonable person if you ask me. They're not actually like mocking that person or hating on that person. They're just saying that it is extremely unhealthy to be at that weight if you want to live a very long and fulfilling life. Wait, now, wait, 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 what is this skinny guy talking about? I mean, he, he's, he's just as unhealthy as the, the fat girl. Let's see what a fat activist says about the same video. You cannot determine someone's health just by how they look. Actually, you can. What you're talking about is actually the exception. If I take one look at a person like Nikocado Avocado, Ooh. I can immediately tell that that is not a healthy man. <laughs> I don't really need- But it's funny. He's entertaining. Nico, 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 he's funny, bro. And the- <laughs> That shit is- hilarious bro that's what we want to see we don't want to see skinny guy that's all we want to see we want to see uh, f burgers on the table and fat people just shoving them mm, mm, mm. these turkeys came out april 2023 and i'm one of the first people to consume them on this tick tick are you jealous of moi I know you're jealous. Five second rule. Need to know anything else about him at all, like his diet, his mm. non existent workout routine, his genetics, mm. nothing about him, just his looks. Now, you can argue that somebody with a six pack, for example, could also be unhealthy, but it's just not as likely unless they're chain smoking like six cigarettes mm. a day or they uh, are prone to cancer. Yeah, but there are some gym people which do lose their life, like at an early age. The bodybuilder famous for doing this. Actually, it hurts quite a lot. The more often I do it, the more it hurts. For his extreme workout videos. But today, biceps training. And who was admired by millions for being a fitness guru. And I'm just like, what is it? You know, like, how can I fix it? Sadly, lost his life in the most unexpected way at the age of 30. He always told me, imagine if I die, what I'm going to do. I still don't have that answer because I can't imagine my life without him. <sighs> he died in the arms of his girlfriend and he even put around her neck a necklace he made himself or something like that obviously someone who's well built can also be unhealthy yeah. but they are the exception generally you can tell how healthy someone is just by their look she uh, also mentioned the obesity wage gap which is some absolute what? shocking mental gymnastics there. Call me skeptical Sally over here, but I don't think an employer is purposely paying a bigger person less money for doing the same work as a thinner person. I think the number probably comes from the fact that fit people may possibly work harder and longer and can take No, up no, no, no. I have to disagree there because I worked with a fat person, like a really obese person and he was very, very good at his job, actually. And but he would stay longer. OK, that's also because he used to like eat a lot of donuts and like this guy was big. He, he always had like like breadcrumbs here on his shirt. It was like food residue and was just like there. And he used to like eat a, eat a lot of hamburgers. And then he had like he had like two liters of al uh, no, not alcohol, but two liters of Coca-Cola. And he used to drink both of those and I used to watch him like I ruined my life with food, um, binge eating and lack of self-care. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and I'm hoping that it's not too late for mm. me this time. There's this one major event that happens in life. It oh my god. It's a black fat girl. It's usually something that has to do with trauma. Then the domino effect just starts falling and then they spiral out mm. and get to where they are. I also want to use the approach as also an obese person and she looks like a black cupcake kind of really explain how people get to this places in life. The one thing that a lot of fat acceptance people wouldn't come out to admit, I want to say it's like a falling dominoes and a falling dominoes means there's this one major event that happens in life. It's usually something that has to do with trauma. Mm. It's usually something that happened to them in maybe their formative years or mm. with their family or even like the environment that they grew up in. Always yeah. something to do with trauma. Usually it's just society which beats them down so f***ing hard. Rotisserie chicken. So good. <laughs> Once, but I haven't been on here in so long, so. 515.8 pounds. 515.8. So we'll take the medium, which will be 516.2. Okay. So I actually only gained like six pounds. That's shocking. It's, is it? And I think the reason why I feel like such crap about it. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Is because. You are too heavy for the scale. Please get off. You are breaking me. Goodbye forever. Scale has died. Damn. What's this video even about, bro? <laughs> white wine vinegar tons of cauliflower literally we have four heads of it celery some what these are vegetables how do you get fat from this do you dip it in oil chopped black olives we have some diced pimentos mustard kosher dill spear pickles obviously mayonnaise okay. and Red onion, hi, oh, and then Jesus. obviously eggs, which she's going to be chopping all of this and she has the eggs boiling right now. Pepper it and then oh it goes in the fridge. Is this just like what? This is just dinner. Overnight and then you eat it cold. Oh my. Who has seen Norbit? Ma'am. What? Are you wearing bottoms? <gasps> of course I'm wearing bottoms! I'm the white Rasputia. Okay, come on in. Do you know the muffin top, the muffin top, the muffin top? Do you know the muffin top that lives on Cooper Lane? Political correctness can be deadly. Prime example, body positivity. Mm. For years, regime outlets have pushed the dangerous hoax, but bro, though. Body positivity. But this is, what well, these girls are not that fat. Look at that. I mean, she's thick. Damn. She's she's fat, but she's she's just she's thick. For years, regime outlets have pushed the dangerous hoax that obesity is healthy. Perhaps most infamously, Cosmopolitan mm. magazine literally proclaiming this is healthy. And most recently, Southwest Airlines giving out free tickets for the next seat to obese Americans on planes. As well as the relentless promotion of influencers like plus-sized model Tess Holiday, who at 5 foot 3 inches and 300 pounds has a BMI of 53, mm. more than double the healthy rate. That's a super, super model. Kelvin Klein, can anybody just be a model now? <laughs> can anybody just be a model? My God. This is a representation of our society today. Exposure of obese bodies in the name of diversity and inclusivity. And now we see the devastating consequences. Lizzo, the queen of body positivity, the queen of my genetics keep me this size, has lost weight? Hmm. New year, new me? The new year, new me post was promoting her new ultra lift and tight legging. This is the ultra lift legging from Yiddy. Which I thought we were taking up space. I thought we were embracing the role. I would 
we want to squish and mold and make ourselves feel smaller if being big is so amazing. You have no idea how hard it was to get into this. But whatever. Many people are saying that Lizzo is noticeably thinner. What do you guys think? Because the booty is lifted. Booties to the sky. When I was 15, I was asked to be a plus size model, but my parents said no. Release the brainstorm to make your motherfucking brain warm. A strange form, something kind of lyrical. Biggie's a bad. My God. I personally tend to disagree, but what do I know? I'm just an immigrant, educated woman. When I was 15, I was asked to be a plus size model, but my parents said no. Release the brainstorm to make your motherfucking brain warm. A strange form, something kind of lyrical. Biggie's a bad bitch, so that's kind of spiritual. Well, in God we trust, turns our butt, that that disgusting. Stuart style stuff. Pretty move. Look. This person is making more money than me. I, I I tried guys. I did. I I did try. I did try. I did. with me um, to go to my brother's birthday lunch and um, rehearsal for the musical that I'm in. Um, hair is already done, makeup's already done, jewelry's on. It's just uh, it's outfit time, so let's get into it. Okay, so we're starting off with a base. Um, these cute leggings, um, a white tank top. I'm gonna layer on a white t-shirt on top of that. And it's cold here in New England, and so I have these really adorable knee-slash-thigh-high stockings that I'm going to layer on top of these, and we'll see how it looks. 